uh, I got up at 11. Anyway, my cat woke me up. Anywho, I just want to talk about preparation. Preparation. Um, when you go out in the snow, you put on your jacket, you put on your boots, you put on your thick pants and your hat, and probably a scarf, right? That way the cold won't go get through. When you go to the beach, you put on your sunblock, you put on your, um, you know, you take your towel, your blanket so you can lay on the beach, uh, and you take your hat, that way you don't get too much sun in your face. When you go to work in the morning, you um, prepare your lunch, you make sure you wear presentable clothes, you make sure you leave in enough time to get there when you're supposed to be there and um, you make sure you do the best job, the best to your ability. When you take a test, you study weeks in advance, memorize the answers, get up, um, take a nice hot bath or whatever, a nice cold shower, whatever it is that you do in preparation, preparation to take that test and you do the best you can, right? So why as parents do we pop these kids out and then let them wander aimlessly? And we only pay attention to them when they are in our face screaming or we have to go somewhere so we're scrambling to look for someone to make sure the kid doesn't kill themselves. You know, by sticking their finger in a plug or uh, diving out the window. Why is it that we don't prepare them for life? Why is it that we're so concerned with everything else in life but the last thing on our mind is our children's future. Now, if you ask us, we're going to say, oh no, the most important thing in my life is my child. But you don't act like it. Why is it that we think having a roof over their head and food on the table is enough? My ex-husband, when we were raising our girls, he didn't want them in any extracurriculum classes to develop their social skills. He didn't want to have them in private school. He wanted to have them in the local public school where they would get beat up every day. He didn't care. He didn't wasn't concerned about them going to college, wasn't concerned at all about preparing them for life. And I feel like part of being a good parent is teaching them food, preparing them to for life, preparing them for how to interact with other people, um, how to speak, you know, be able to express themselves through language and art and uh, writing and um, just being able to deal with people of all races. So no matter where they go, they can um, they can blossom and flourish. I feel like that's extremely important. Now, the thing, the problem today is that we don't even teach them the things that we were taught. <laughs> Our parents taught us well, not my parents, but your parents probably taught you um, the basic things. Like my aunt Billy was the one that basically taught me the things that I know. I got my moral fiber and, and um, my whole set of um, my whole attitude towards life from my Aunt Billy and Uncle Ray. My mom barely talked to us. She thought she was doing us a huge favor by just not separating the four kids and um, feeding us. You know, she went to work every day and she sure made sure she threw it in our face every time she got a chance. But um, we should always be preparing to be the best parent that we can. We should always, you know, it's. I know that we prepare when we're going to have a baby. We buy the crib, we buy the diapers, we buy the little blankets, 
um, we tell everybody, yes, we prepare in that way, but then once the child is born, we never read parenting books. And especially when they're six or seven, <laughs> we feel like we don't have to do anything but interact with them, maybe, and sometimes not even that. So I'm just saying that we really, it's just like when, when you have a job, you're always trying to perfect your career, right? We should do the same thing with parenting. We should always be horning our craft. Always be horning your craft. Funny that I made a mistake on that word and then I just learned a new word. Because I knew, I knew it sounded off, but I wasn't sure. But yeah, always be honing your craft, not horning. So, um, see, just like I learned this word, honing, is how you learn parenting skills. You can sit down and read an article and learn something new. You can watch a video and learn something new about how to be a better parent. Is it odd or is it God? I say it's God. So, yes, always be honing your craft as a parent. Always be looking for the most up-to-date because we discover new things every day. Absolutely. So always be, don't think a parent, being a parent is a one and done. I think a lot of people think it's a one and done. Okay, I had the kid, I'm feeding them, I'm clothing them, I'm going to the best, clothing them, I'm going, I put them in the best school possible, um, whatever, you know, I'm busy, I'm busy at work, I'm busy trying to give this kid everything. Well, giving this kid everything. Okay, is um, being a good parent and giving them your time instead of your money is the most important thing. You know, at Christmas, I asked, um, I think I mentioned this before in another video, but at Christmas, um, I asked the kids, oh, so what did you get for Christmas? And they didn't answer, and I'm like, what did you get for Christmas? I was real excited, and they're like, no, I don't know. They were irritated because they were so overwhelmed by so many gifts that they got. They don't want money. They don't want your gifts. They want your time. They want you to talk to them. And I'll make more videos elaborating on that because I had a couple of situations in preschool. I'll let you know. Please like and subscribe to my new channel. And um, I hope you're You'll read an article today about parenting. Not all, not all our articles are correct, okay? I'm going to look for a, a post that I read that was really ridiculous. but And I'll, I'll post it on here. But um, always be preparing to be the best parent you can possibly be. Being a good parent is the most important job you will ever do. Okay, love you guys and appreciate what you already have. Bye. Just, just a thought, guys. Just a suggestion. Obviously, you're going to do whatever you want. Love you, and um, I hope you have a great day. Here's a movie you might want to check out. It has um, great situations in it. It's about parenting. Two and values.